HDF5 is a file format for storing data that's highly extensible and flexible. It stands for Hierarchical Data Format, and it's the fifth version of this file format. And the fifth version is much changed from the fourth version and the versions before it, um, such that it's now quite general purpose and has relatively flexible extensive support for all sorts of relatively advanced features. It's an open source platform. It's completely free. You can download and look at the code. It's got compatibility with a bunch of different programming languages. The core uh, officially supported languages are C and C++ and Java, but there's third-party libraries, some of which are very popular for many programming languages, including Python and MATLAB and Julia, um, that make HDF5 very accessible. So if you are throwing around HDF5 files for your data, then anyone that you're working with can open them. Similarly, you can request HDF5 from someone else if you're collaborating, and they'll figure out whatever programming language they're working in to get it into HDF5 so that you can then open it. It's become a very standardized tool for, for transferring and storing data. And one of the main attracting features of it is that it supports this concept of filters, which I'll get into in a little bit in a subsequent video, that allows you to jump around and, and manipulate the, the structure with which data sets are stored in uh, at whim in a way that makes it very easy to do sophisticated operations that would otherwise be a little out, inaccessible. And HDFI just sort of makes that all possible for you in a way that really optimizes working with data.